We should all know when there's a snake in the group. I hope none of you revealed anything to this beast. What's so bad about that text message? I'm badass. Coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Nothing else matters if you don't have um, your family. Unfortunately, we have to relive everything that we filmed last year. Now my brother is seeing it, so that's a whole other thing. They have to serve your birth mother with papers. She could fight to not have me abduct you. She never responded, which is so sad. Does she tell you what kind of ring she wants? I already have it. It's fun to think about things that I haven't thought about since I was 19 years old. She, she is likes. very independent, though. She's always been. Is she really that independent, or did she have no choice? The Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. Dolores, are there wedding bells in your future? Paul and I haven't really felt this way about anybody else we've met in a very long time. So we're getting engaged? What's happening here? Do you guys talk about it? All the time. Do you? Does she tell you what kind of ring she wants? I already have it. I'm excited for her. I'm oh, so excited. Yeah. Well, I think it would be great for Dolores to get married again. I'm excited for Dolores to get, maybe I'll actually like be excited to go to the wedding. I think he's committed. I mean, I yeah. definitely peed on her leg. I mean, let's you know. <laughs> it's fun to think about things that I haven't thought about since I was 19 years old. I feel like she wants that. I feel like she plays like tough and like she wants to be independent, but she, I think she, she likes- She is very independent though. She's always been. Well, was she independent because she needed to be? Yeah, or because I mean, like I mean, she wanted to be? Like, I think she was independent because she had no choice. No one was making her dependent. Like no one was wrapping her up in their arms and saying you're like, you're mine. Like right. Franca wasn't doing that. We're in it together, Absolutely. no matter what it is. That's a deal, partner. All right. Okay, all right. And, and ex-wife. David didn't do that. And I don't demand the commitment that I thought that I needed. We're done. All right. Okay, goodbye. Paulie's well, doing that now. Yeah, I mean, Paulie's doing that now, and clearly she's into it. So right. is she really that independent, or did she have no choice? Think about this. I'm divorced for 25 years, 24 years. Could I have gotten married? Have, of course I could have. But it's not something I've thought about in so long, the way I think about it now. And it was nice, but it's not like I'm rushing. For it. Yeah, and see, that was like 25 years since I've been married. Yeah, like around that. Everybody's like, oh, Dolores wanted a ring from David. This is a broken woman. Ah! If I got cheated on. Melissa cheated on. I'd be broken. I'd be like, listen, I don't need nobody. I like my space, just like Dolores. Sometimes I think Dolores isn't so rushing to get married. That's my honest opinion. But Dolores is always kind of like, like, uh, I'm good. No, I don't necessarily think that. I think no. Dolores has wanted stability for a long time. Mm -hmm. She's really committed to this man and like let him give her that commitment in return. I'm very happy with the commitment I have right now, to be honest. But is it nice to dream in the moment and talk about, oh, if we had a wedding, what would it be like? Doesn't mean we have to go do it tomorrow. Of course, human nature, you think about the next steps, but then you really want to really think about it. Like, I have time. Yeah, I don't have and, and little kids. No, yeah, there's you know, no rush. They have little kids. If they live together, they would want to be married to live together. Yeah. I don't have that. I don't have to do things. And you like don't that. have to get married, exactly. Like whatever you want, whatever you guys want. Right. You like, beat at your own drum. Um as far as I know, Paulie's not divorced. I mean, I guess it's hard to get married if you're not divorced. Yeah, you could give rings. I guess I guess that's why you can't get married if you're not divorced. Danielle, are you still estranged from your brother? At this point, it's kind of like better just to end that chapter in your life, move on and be happy with the, your family, my husband and my kids. Moving forward, we work on ourselves. Now we focus on our on family. Ourselves. Healing, figuring out a world and a life where that doesn't exist. From my mom and my husband's point of view, they see what hurt I go ha have gone through. You know what makes me so sad is that we're talking about him. Daddy's trying to fix it. Everyone's talking to him. He just doesn't want to fix it. He don't care. I know, and it makes me sad. You know, unfortunately, I have to relive everything that we filmed last year. Blocked him on social media because he was making fun of me, and he lost his mind. Maybe the sister-in-law. Maybe there's a problem there. You don't even go there. Nothing else matters if you don't have um, your family. Which is hard. Now he's seeing it, um, so that's a whole other thing. Have you heard anything about your brother hearing it? I'm hearing he's obviously not happy. About what part? The stuff I said about her. 
Because if my son marries a mega bitch, I will poison her. I've read comments here and there, obviously from her f family and friends or his family and friends, like just saying horrible, mean things. When my goal was for them to watch us and hopefully think, wow, Ugh, maybe, um, maybe she's really hurting. I mean, when the extended family gets involved, it's really hard. Yeah. Like we know. The whole thing with like Melissa's mom not being invited. We have a history, okay. so I'm just gonna leave it at that. My mother has been nothing I but know, know, good to her. Right, Shame on her. I think people are questioning, rightly so, what this all started from, which is right. That I, I get it. People are like, there's obviously something going on. There is no chance that that's the whole story. If that's what actually happened, that's cuckoo. I'm just wondering what the rest of the story is. That is the story. And now they see my personality on camera. This is how I talk. Wait, it's not a threat. The one person you don't want to have as an enemy, calm the f down. And they're like, she must be a psychopath sister-in-law. She must have tortured her sister-in-law. So people are going to create their own narrative. I just hope at some point they watch it and maybe he does see real hurt. You know, it's my only hope. But right now it's not looking too good. Well, I hope you guys one day make it back I... to each other. You have over Jen Fessler, her mom, yes. and her twin. Oh my God, I, I can't even keep up. I thought my Marge Singer was like a pivot. I, these two come in like, ooh. I don't even know what to say. But you know what this house yes. doesn't have? What? Plates. Yeah. Is that enough closet space? I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. Oh my God! There's gorgeous this family. Oh, this looks just like my apartment. No, a little smaller. Stop it! I put Jen Fessler talks this. I've never seen anything like it. They are the cutest, most adorable, curly-haired little twins I've ever seen in my life. Everybody that meets my mom and my aunt just dies a little bit. Do your husbands get along? Yes, they get along. Well, her husband's what? 104? Really? <laughs> Is that fair to say 94? You said 104. I could have said 74. They wouldn't have known. They are the most fun, and Marge Sr. is so much fun. She needs a boyfriend. You don't want to get married. No. no. Oh, God. Oh, please. <laughs> I couldn't stand being with somebody 24 hours a day. No. To bring everybody together, and Marge is like giving them all of her candy couture stuff and like outfits, and they're screaming, and it was like, it was just so sweet. I mean, they're matching haircuts, matching curls, matching outfits. I mean, it's hysterical. They are so damn cute. I love them. And I could see why Jen Fessler is so fabulous. They're just so fun. I mean, that's me and Lexi. I mean, I'm older than Lexi, obviously. But we're going to be blonde, glamorous, not in sneakers, but in heels. Being that they're identical twins, and they're called... They're Marilyn and Carolyn. Like, it's all too oh hilarious. Oh, my God, that's so And they grew funny. up in Brooklyn with Barbara Streisand. And, like, they're both just... They're just how old are so, they? Eighty. Wow. And you know, I had done a video of them at their 80th birthday, and like everyone I know freaked out. You didn't have to buy the no. same shoes I did. They're my favorite well, shoes. Well, you have a copycat. I just feel like 79 with these shoes. Not <laughs> I really do. I feel so much younger. They both put on F majors, and they had on like bathrobes because we were at a spa and crowns, and the response was just over the top. They're oh. the best.